<laughs> I foresee victory. We can't achieve anything without desire. Chill Yu often struggles to deal damage, lacks tempo, and has poor survivability in matches. Let's dive deeper into Chill Yu's playstyle and strategies. 1. Low Damage Output the reason Zhou Yu fails to apply pressure is due to not effectively using his skill 1 and skill 2 to spread fire across the battlefield. 2. Lack of Tempo Zhou Yu's lack of tempo is often caused by a misunderstanding of his role. He needs to work with teammates to engage in positional attacks and quickly push objectives. 3. Poor Survivability Zhou Yu often gets caught because he lacks dash skills. Managing his positioning and skill use in skirmishes is critical. Say what you want about my character, but there's one thing that's flawless, and that's my hair. Jolyu relies on his skill 2 to cast fire in an area, then skill 1 to control where the fire spreads, and his ultimate to control the battlefield at large. You should choose your words more carefully, young one. Wall Manipulation Techniques Jolyu's skill 1 has long range, and directing the fire towards walls can cause it to stack. Take advantage of this by using his ultimate to deal stack damage to enemies caught in the flames. Azure Golem Stealing Techniques At level 2, Zhou Yu can use skill 1 in reverse, then cast skill 2 over a wall to steal the enemies as your golem kill. Rushing Technique Towers can sometimes be Zhou Yu's best ally in securing kills. Zhou Yu can cast skill 1 and immediately flash toward enemies near the tower, pushing them into tower range for the kill. Enemy ships burnt to ashes with the snap of my fingers. Advantageous situations. When his team is on the offensive, Zhou Yu should cooperate with teammates to push towers and quickly close out the match. Use skill 1 and skill 2 to spread fire around the enemy's towers, disrupting their defensive formation. Then work with teammates to push forward in advance. Disadvantageous situations. While on defense, Zhou Yu can use his fire skills to engulf his own towers in flame and quickly clear the lane, holding off the enemy's advance. He can then wait for the enemy to make a mistake and launch a counterattack. Meddling with the fabric of the universe gives you this fuzzy feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> This skill combo is mainly used for initiating. First use skill 2, then use skill 1 to spread fire. When it reaches the enemy's position, immediately use ultimate and follow up with a flash to surprise and crowd control the enemy. It was your misfortune to be born in the same era as me. First release skill 2 at Zhou Yu's location, then use skill 1 to spread fire outward. Cast another skill 2 at the enemy's location, and when the fire reaches them, use ultimate to trigger a 2 stack pool of flame for extra damage and crowd control. Light it up! First cast skill 2, then use skill 1 to direct the fire horizontally. Once spread, use skill 2 again to direct the fire vertically. When the fire reaches the enemy, use ultimate to crowd control and deal coordinated damage. I'm calling the shots here. Zhou Yu's team composition and matchups. When paired with heroes like Agudo or Lu Shen, who excel at pushing towers, Zhou Yu's fire can force enemies back to create a safe environment for teammates to push towers. Against heroes like Futsu or Musashi who lack a strong dash, Zhou Yu can recover health while trading blows with enemies standing in his fire skills. His skill 1 and ultimate can crowd control enemies during the battle. Heroes like Alessio who can use his skill 2 and 3 to float above the battlefield won't take damage from Zhou Yu's ground-based fire skills.